to the Click Kits and Precious Remembrance blog hop. I'm here to do a quick tutorial on how to do crayon resist. Now, I used my stays on and these fabulous stamps by Precious Remembrance, and what I've done is um, I've I've laid the base with some stays on. Now, the reason for stays on is because it is um, not water soluble. It is oil based, so it's harder to have that smearing that kind of happens sometimes when you use verse fine etc and all of those other ones so it's kind of quick here but did you see I used the white crayon and I did it in the spaces on the T and the O and the A and the Y and um, then I just took a rag and I totally just wiped off the ink from those waxy spaces now they make special wax type of um, stuff at your specialty art supply store but you know Crayola makes a fantastic white crayon that you can use in the instead and I'll do it for the next journal card that you'll see next so I've gotten another 3x5 card and here I'm just fiddling with the stamps to see what kind of layout I'd like to do these stamps are great but I wanted some white space between um, the left and the right hand side of where the stamps um, done with stays on are and so here's the first set and sometimes I turn over the um, when I'm using stays on I turn over the cardstock to push down real quick just to make sure that the the ink stays with the um, with the cardstock and you get the best adherence now again I've grabbed my white crayon and I'm just coloring over the places where I do not want the the ink to go so I'm just using this color box real quick cat eye and um, just wiping off um, those spaces where I use the crayon and it kind of also if you do it quick enough kind of blends a little bit of that ink it, it dries pretty fast but um, again you can just use some blending with the uh, with your rag or you can use a paper towel or whatever you've got on hand I just use a really disgusting um, not quite so white rag now and I if, if you think about what I'm the the concept I'm doing here I just wanted to do some layering and um, with the different colors so that's what I've got going on with that journal card and I think I'm just about ready to start doing a layout one more swipe of orange and I was ready to move on to the third one now I used the same three word stamps and I just did them a couple times in different inks so there was some sort of pattern and interest with the color now I'm using the um, I would call like a brush stroke stamp and I just wanted to put it at the bottom um, to add some foundation and what you didn't see here is I added two more stars to that last journal card um, I think my uh, video camera ran out and sorry I didn't get that recorded but you got the concept now here I'm laying out um, what I'm supposed to be doing here with the uh, um, Luke's and I love Luke to death and I'm reason I'm doing his project layout first is he is the most um, how do I say it vocal red-headed crazy emotional loving three wait how old is he five-year-old you've ever met he's just so vibrant and that's why I chose the colors I did I also picked the colors from you can see from that photo in the top left I just wanted to add some again stars to repeat the stars I used in the last one and I could have used another brush stroke but I thought you know um, I, it looks good the way it is I just trimmed it to three by four and called it good now as you can see I am using an old project life card that I was using as a test I had actually had never done this crayon resist before doing this um, layout so I did a test run and I used it to back that last picture because either you throw it away or you use it right now I'm using these Kelly Perky um, alphas and I do this for most all my alphas I need something clear and super thin so I can see where I'm going with them I just attach them to the ruler just on the edge and then lift at a 45 degree angle and then you have the placement where you want them 
Sorry about the adjustment for the camera. It got junked a little bit. Sorry. Okay, I got to thinking and looking at this layout and I just really wasn't happy with a couple of the elements and I needed some extra super little tiny details. So I pulled out my August click kits and um, I really did not care for this um, fern one in the corner. So um, I went ahead and used my favorite paper out of that kit. It's by Fancy Pants Designs and I... I, I will hoard that piece of paper forever. I have done so many layouts this month with that. Love it. And then I also used it so you could see the, the end strip. I just love that every once in a while. It adds a little layer of um, foundation in the bottom. And I also did one here, and you can see it on the here card. I, I cut off that off that strip and added it to the bottom of that here card to add just one more element of foundation. Now, a lot of parts of the Fancy Pants designs this uh, million June have a lot to do with Mother's and Mother's Day, and which is really not appropriate before a five-year-old. So I just pulled some puffy stickers out, um, found a couple of hearts, and added those at the end. Thank you guys for stopping. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!